Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of What's Crack a Lagging in the Toy World. Let's get to it! <laughs> well, with so much San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, information dropping on the web, um, I think it's time to start planning your uh, map of uh, execution of how you're gonna get your uh, exclusives. But before we get into all that, we're just gonna dive into one for scale collectibles first. And Enter Bay finally put for pre-order the uh, Rambo quarter scale action figure, which looks pretty badass. The only complaint I would have, or not even complaint, just a nitpick, is that the uh, difference between the chest um, soft um, plastic and the uh, arm hard plastic difference that you can clearly see. Uh, I would love to see this in uh, person, or would have to see this in person to see how different it is um, to each other because in the pictures obviously it looks very nice but um, apart from that the figure looks fantastic um, it's up for pre-order like I said um, $400 shipped and apparently after July it'll go up to $420 shipped it's a $20 bump not sure why I'm very surprised because I thought the whole point of making a new box was to uh, save on shipping but whatever, it is still better to buy it from Enterbay. It's still cheaper to buy it from Enterbay and again, safer. So um, if you want to go for pre-order, boom, there it is. Anyways, that is enough for one quarter scale collectibles. Let's go to one six scale. <laughs> Enterbay again uh, showed us a pic of the torso of the Enter on the <laughs> the Enterbay, the uh, black label. One, which is the first release on the Black Label line, um, Bruce Lee. Um, I'm still not sure if it's going to be an action figure or a statue. I'm guessing it's going to be an action figure. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be kick-ass. It's 1-6 scale. It looks to be 1-6 scale. And uh, can't wait to see this thing in uh, full reveal. Also, they teased that they're going to make an Agent K uh, Young version. So that's pretty cool for uh, many black collectible, uh, the collectors who want the uh, uh, Young Agent K as well. Um, Hot Toys. Hot Toys put a bunch of pictures of um, their uh, headquarters in Korea, if I'm not mistaken. Damn it, I hope it's in Korea. And uh, But anyways, um, the most important thing is that they showed us pictures of the uh, artist sculpting um, projects. Uh, very interested and to my delight, I saw the uh, one six scale head of uh, Hulk, which was pretty awesome, looks spot on. Um, also in that picture it looks to be the um, quarter scale head of um, Bruce Wayne. Um, also the Spider-Man unmasked um, head sculpt was there, so I'm guessing we're going to get an unmasked Spider-Man head sculpt with the action figure, which is pretty cool. And um, it looks to be like they're sculpting the quarter scale endoskeleton um, head sculpt there, so that's pretty kick-ass as well. Even though we knew it was coming, no surprise. But I'm glad to see that it's in progress. Very nice. Um, also, a teaser of the Joker 2.0. Uh, looks like it's going to come with the table, the chair, the light. And um, who else? Why else? Because i uh, really pumped to see what else it brings as a DX. So I'm expecting a lot of stuff. And um, the Bat Pot, finally for pre-order. The um, Bat Pot from Dark, Nor Dark Knight Rises. And um, it's $275 and it's uh, chipping in November. Um, also, the USO Captain America figure, which everybody thought was pretty much done, is apparently a San Diego, Comic -Con, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yes, I'm pumped because I wanted this figure that I thought it was gone and now it's here. Boom! So, uh, San Diego Comic Con, you might want to get it. You know what I'm saying? Boom! It's also going to be available online from Sideshow. So, be very attentive and look at the schedules because it's gonna sell out I'm sure um anyways this is enough with one six go let's go to statues baby <laughs> from Kotobukiya we get the uh, Mary from uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion from the new movies of course um in the plug suit and uh looks very cool we finally got this teased um it should be for pre-order soon um, also, the Darth Vader Art FX Plus um, figure statue, or whatever, um, which is one ten scale. It it comes out to be like seven point five inches. Um, comes with a few hands, 
and um, the uh, non-helmet uh, face, which is pretty cool. And it's just another cool little addition to your uh, Star Wars collector collection. <laughs> um, also from Sideshow, the hunt for the Jedi, Shaq T versus General Grievous. Um, diorama, which is pretty um, impressive looking, because uh, it's you know sculpting General Grievous is not really that easy. Um, it's three hundred dollars, three hundred and fifty dollars, two twelve inches high and sixteen inches wide. So it's pretty pretty impressive as a diorama, and um, General Grievous being there, it makes it even better. Um, anyways, that is enough with statues. Let's go do vinyl. Jesse Hernandez on fire! This guy, I'm telling you, this guy's on fire. Um, he has two things already. Um, it's so much crap, I was ridiculous. And we get to see two more prototypes or finished paint masters. Uh, the first one is from Pober Toys. Hopefully, I said that correctly. If not, my bad. Um, Jaguar Knight, which is uh, looking pretty cool. It's a wax sculpt, so it's almost done and ready to get, uh, you know call that yeah exactly so toy will be uh, pretty soon out very nice also from again I hope the man I said this correctly Rage Toys Rage Toys Rage Toys not sure how you say it but um, the Mecha Azteca which I've been following for a while been talking to be to um, to you guys for a while and I am very excited to see that the paint master is done and it looks freaking boss so I can't wait to see this thing in my hands in my face so really pumped about that um, also from Beast Brothers and Hot G and their whole Skolendario collab we get the last Skolendario Skol, I'm saying Skolendario just in case you didn't understand me because I'm going too fast Skol as in Skol <laughs> very nice um, Lord Magma and they also have a crystal version which they will be giving out to, in random, to whoever buys the uh, magma. So if you buy the magma, you're entered to win the crystal. They're both 8 inches tall, and um, the magma comes out um, Friday the 22nd of this month at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Eastern Time, I'm pointing down because I live in the Eastern Coast. Very nice. So uh, good luck to the sale. I'm sure it's going to sell out like every other school and Dario. Beast Brothers are on fire, and also it's hot G. Very nice. Um, what else? Kid Robot, Donnie, Donnie, <laughs> Donnie 2012 um, series has been revealed and there's a lot of awesome Donnies in there. I am very, actually, I'm very pumped to see uh, what's cracking lagging in this line and I want to get myself a few uh, of those Donnies, very nice. Um, also, they have information of their San Diego Comic Con exclusives and bear with me because I want to be precise. <clears throat> Wednesday the 11th, which is preview night, they will have the pre-release, meaning this is not an exclusive, um, it will be released to the masses August 2, or 2nd, I just say, um, the Futurama Hypno Toad. This uh, toad is going to be 4.5 inches tall, and it's going to cost $40. Yes, very nice. Um, the exclusive for the night will be the Homer Buddha which is an edition size of 550 bucks a pop. So that's the exclusive there, very I mean, nice. Um, also on Thursday, the 12th, the next day, um, they, the exclusive, oh, by the way, all the exclusives from Thursday to Saturday will be sold from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., okay? Um, Thursday, the seven inch Cyborg Labid Excelsior, I hope I said that correctly. Um, edition size of 300 at $75. Chuck Boy created this beast and he will be signing at the booth on the, uh, on that time. Um, Friday the 13th, yeah, bam, bam, bam. Um, the uh, <coughs> Makahala Dunny Prosperity Edition, it's an 8-inch Dunny uh, by Andrew Bell. It's a edition, edition size of 300 at $100 a pop, and of course, Andrew will be there signing the uh, Dunny. Very nice. And Saturday the 14th, we get... An 11 inch skull, skull singer, like a you know, gunslinger, skull singer, whatever. Um, Tuco edition, uh, 300 of these bitches, and a hundred dollars a pop. And Hog G will be signing as well. 
I think that Skull Singer has me really, really pumped out of all of them. Very nice. So I am very pumped. <laughs> but anyways, that's all the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive for Kid Robot. Also, Luke QA and Monkey King showed um, a picture of their exclusive, which will be the Target. It's titled Target, and of course, it's classic Luke QA, and uh, it was very nice. And I hope I'm saying that last name correct. A lot of weird names in this episode and I can't know, I don't know if I'm pronouncing them correctly but anyways let's continue um Kuso Vino posted more pictures of their revolver girl which again is another San Diego comic exclusive and it's just that much closer to being done so uh, a lot of San Diego comic exclusive stuff coming out boom but enough let's go to everything else <laughs> And in everything else, more San Diego Comic Con exclusives. Are you surprised? No. Uh, Hasbro um, has released the pictures of the G.I. Joe exclusive and it's Jinx in two outfits. One red, one white. Very nice. Uh, yes. Uh, Medicom. Now, this is not a San Diego Comic exclusive, okay? But Medicom, I have no clue, I'm extremely pumped, has like, released pictures of a raw, real action hero, um, action figure, from the, of the unit 01 of Evangelion. You know what I'm saying? Eva 01, okay? 15 inches tall, and I am extremely pumped. I think it's the 25th of June that we will go on pre-order, and I am very excited because I, I did not expect an action figure of that size of an Eva. Um, it's like the model kit's only uh, just Eva. I think it's one, 140... Whatever, I don't even know the scale. I'm pumped though. You can see in the pictures the, 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 what do you call it? The, oh my god, how it moves. Oh my, I'm so pumped, I don't even know what to say, but I'm gonna shut up. You looked at the pictures, I'm pumped, you're pumped, let's do this. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but it'll probably be around $300, $400. $500, I wouldn't be in a surprise. It's Medicum, they're expensive. Boom. Um, Naka um, also showed us another Comic Con exclusive that they have, and it's the Sky Ash. So, whoever, you know, all those Ash fans and. Um, Army of Darkness fans, there you go, bitches. Pumpness. Um, Sideshow also showed us the Elder Predator from AVP, the Biomask. 1-1 one, one scale, of course. So that will be hanging on your wall pretty soon. <laughs> Play Arts Lara Croft from the new game, Tomb Raider. Um, prototype at, what do you call it? E3. I'm pumped. Again, this game, I've been waiting for this game for a time, about three, four years already. And the, f the figure looks amazing. I think the design of Lara Croft is phenomenal. And I can't wait for this figure. Boom! In your face! And last but not least, Triforce! Kicking some more ass! Um, this time with Arkham City collectibles. And of course, their props. And of course, their life size. And first we got the Batarang with comps with um, the, uh, the, the gauntlet. His hand, it's like Batman's hand holding the damn Batarang. That's pretty kick ass, right? It's just pretty sick. The whole glove and everything is included. I mean, it looks amazing. You can cut it up, put it on, and be Batman. But not really, because you probably kill yourself. Anyways, but it's in a decent size of 750 and it costs $750. Also, they got the Riddler Trophy. Not as pumped for this thing, but it's still cool. I'm sure fans of the game will be like, oh my god, I would love to have that. Boom, but there you go. Um, edition, edition, I don't even know why I'm having such a hard trouble saying edition size. But yes, a 400 and it costs 350 So, there you go. This is the news for this week. I hope you guys like them. I'm sorry for me spelling a lot of crap, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And like always, everything is linked at the bottom of the YouTube video, which will go linked to my website when we're actually all the links to all the stories are gonna be there. So in case you wanna know where this stuff comes from and all the information, where I get it from, boom, there it is. So again, love you guys. See you next week. <laughs>